Oh yeah, this looks kind of cool. I guess I could maybe take a look at this game and do a review. Oh, hello there, wonderful person. Uh, this is Anton, and today we're taking a look at Star Ruler 2. Actually, no. This game is pretty old, so I'm not going to be doing a review of this game, even though I actually really, really like it. What I am going to do, though, as you probably could tell from the title, is show you how you can get it absolutely free, absolutely legally. This game ha has now been released as open source, and you can actually download it, um, build it, and play it completely free, saving yourself, I think, think approximately $25. I don't exactly remember how much it is. Mine is in Canadian and I think it says 28 Canadian dollars here. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. Uh, we basically start right here on the uh, GitHub site for Star Ruler. This is Star Ruler Source by the company that uh, developed the game. And uh, we really just need to do one thing here. We need to download this. Although if you would like to do this yourself, and if you're actually running this either on Mac or on Linux, uh, you may also scroll down to the bottom here and read the, okay, they don't have Mac apparently. If you're running this on Linux, you can follow this. If you're running this on Mac, don't run this on Mac. I don't think it works. Uh, it might work, but I don't think it works. Either way, uh, there's also uh, a few other things I'm going to point out. If you do get problems or errors while you're doing this, um, and things that I don't really cover in this video, you might want to find out more answers here or here. And this is, of course, the Steam forums and the official Discord for the um, for the game. So um, click on this and then do download zip. And while you're waiting for this to download, you may also want to start downloading the other thing we need, which is actually probably the most difficult part of this installation. We need to install, uh, at, at least on Windows, uh, the Visual Studio 2017 to basically build this uh, from scratch using the code that's provided. Now, if you have never developed games, if you've never used Visual Studio, or if you don't really know much about programming, um, I will hopefully give you enough information on how to do this. Um, if you have, you might already know more than me, so you might not even need this video. This might be all you need. Now, this is actually the longest part of this installation, and it might take you anywhere from one hour to maybe even longer, depending on your connection and your computer speed. Uh, but essentially what you're doing is you're installing Visual Studio. Um, the installator is actually right here, I believe. So you just need to get this, click on this, and uh, download the community version. But the thing is, when you actually um, get the installation prompt, uh, there's a few things we need to check there to make sure we install correct stuff. Okay, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, so you'll get something like this. Um, you might have something else before this, but you basically just have to get Visual Studio Community 2017. Um, and in here, there is, there is, there is a button. Oh yeah, okay, it was modify button. Uh, in this button, um, you basically just need to install desktop development with C++. And um, if you click under individual components, um, I'm going to just kind of scroll through this just so you see what I have installed, uh, but I'll also point out the important stuff. So the important things here that you absolutely have to have for this to work are, are, uh, I think it's this also, this is important right here, uh, version 141 uh, tools. This was not installed by default. You had to edit or um, manually. Uh, this has to be installed as well. And None of these, none of these. Uh, this has to be installed. And also, very importantly, as I'm coming to it, anytime soon, there's this one thing that took me forever to figure out, this right here. This was this was the one that caused me the most problems, actually. Uh, I'm not a Windows developer, so I don't really know why I need this, but I think it's for Windows games. Um, anywho, if you know more, please post it in the comments below. I actually would like to learn why I need this and not the other ones and why the other ones didn't work. Um, I don't think anything else is required actually. And so once you have all of this, um, the installation will probably take oh, up to an hour, like I said. Um, it is pretty heavy. And as a matter of fact, it is um, like several gigabytes, which is really unusual because if you install this on Linux, which I use very much, um, it's super, super small. I don't really know why C++ here is so big. And then when you click on launch, you'll get a prompt that kind of looks like this. Now, we don't really need to do anything here uh, just yet. We need to make sure that we downloaded that uh, GitHub file, uh, which is the zip file from over here. So now we open this file and we extract it somewhere where you basically want to install your game. 
And so here I basically extracted it to this folder. And if I go in, I'll see something like this. Now you'll, you'll actually see an executable file here. The thing is, it's not going to do anything yet because we haven't really um, built the program. There's just files that are source files, basically the code files, but there's no actual um, game stuff, as you would say. Basically, there's no uh, binary files that could be used by Windows. And so what we need to do now is we need to go into source and under msvc star ruler 2 there is this um, sln file which stands for solution that we essentially need to open you can either double click on it or open it from here and once you open it up um you probably get something that looks like this well basically there's nothing you won't really see anything um, you can definitely, uh, if you know enough about C++, now start modifying this and maybe turn this game into something completely different. I, however, am not that familiar with C++, therefore, I'm going to proceed to building the game. Now, uh, there's one thing you need to actually do first, um, and that's, I believe, under Project, uh, Star Ruler Properties. If you go into this, you have to make sure that um, your... SDK version is set to the version that you installed previously when I said that you have to have this version. Mine was actually set to something completely different and it was giving me a lot of errors and it was not working properly. Uh, so this is what you have to basically do. And then the other thing you have to do is you have to make sure that this is set to non-Steam release. Don't set it to anything else uh, except for debug. You can also do debug actually. And um, you may also want to double check that under build configuration manager, it also says that this is either debug or non-steam release. I'm going to set it to non-steam release actually. Um, so here's what uh, we're going to be doing now. We're going to be building this game. And what this does is it actually takes all the C++ um, files, all of the code, and turns it into an executable uh, program that Windows can then run. Or Linux if you're doing this on Linux. So we're going to build this and it's going to start giving us these prompts if you don't have any errors and if everything seems to be working like it is for me right now, you are basically fine. Just go relax for a few minutes. It should be done. Um, if, however, you start seeing errors popping up or messages, first thing I would do is actually maybe copy this message and put it into um, your favorite search engine or Google, for example, and then look up if someone else is getting this and it should give you some kind of a resolution. Um, if this doesn't work, maybe post it in the comments below. Maybe someone will help you there. If that doesn't work, um, highly recommended solution is to go into the Steam forums right here or to the Discord server um, for Rising Stars, which is actually one of the mods for this game, and take a look at what people are saying there. Uh, my personal experience with this Discord server was not very positive. Uh, to be honest, people were a little bit too impatient. They were actually kind of telling me to Google everything, uh, but that's just my opinion. I you know, I'm not going to judge them. I, I'm sure they get a lot of questions that are sometimes really stupid. Okay, there are no stupid questions or any stupid answers, but sometimes there are stupid questions too. And so uh, in that sense, uh, this is maybe the fastest sort of way of getting uh, a proper response. Anyway, uh, going back here, uh, so there's still a few minutes left. Uh, it's still, I don't know if you can see, I think you can actually see. Uh, there's still a bit of a progress here that I need to finish up. Uh, but once this is done, the game will be actually completely finished. Now, because it's a non-Steam release and because this is an open source release, there are two things you won't really have. Obviously, you will not have um, an ability to play with Steam players. However, there is multiplayer and multiplayer apparently works from what I've read. And the other thing you don't have um, is music. Uh, music is copyrighted in this game, so they actually excluded it. But um, as it says on GitHub here, um, you can actually put your own music into the game and then basically have it play in the background. Uh, so I think, so right here it says you can actually put all of your music into data music directory and then have it play in the background. So if you want to conquer the universe while having, I don't know, Justin Bieber play in the background, God save us all. Anyway, on that note, um, all right, so it looks like it's finished. It actually took maybe about five or so minutes. And now if I go into the original folder, as you can see, this is actually the main folder and click on this, double click on this. What I'll see is, uh, well, hopefully the actual uh, game screen. And there you go, Star Ruler 2, Wake of the Heralds. 
I don't really know what that means. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, it works. Uh, you can select any of the races here. No music, no sound, but you can um, put your own music into the data music folder and you can also install mods. This game is actually absolutely awesome if you've never played it um, and it's definitely worth the money. So if you um, still install it as an open source, I highly recommend that you still support the developers and maybe purchase a copy either of this game or their previous game, Star Ruler 1. Anyway, so that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. Do check it out. Uh, the game is absolutely awesome. It takes maybe an hour or so to install this for free and it works like magic. You won't get music and you won't be able to play on Steam. I think you won't be able to play on Steam, but everything else works absolutely fine. And anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you and hopefully you'll enjoy the game as well. And uh, space out. And as always, bye bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to come back tomorrow to watch another video that you might uh, learn something from, right? Anyway, bye-bye.